Some would say there's been a war on the fossil fuel industry since day one. Is this an overstatement? Since day one, President Biden has tried to limit fossil fuel supplies and, and, and we're all paying for it. Do you dispute that, that at least as far as rhetoric, we heard the president say, well, let's listen to what I'm saying. I am going to put the fossil fuel business out of industry, uh, uh, out of business. That, that, that's a quote. I can show you the video. I can show you other quotes that were similar from a couple of years ago. I can show you members of Congress in the, in the Democratic Party uh, berating oil officials for not cutting production to the same extent uh, that it was cut over in Europe. None, none of those. If you were an oil executive, would you make long term plans or if you were uh, if you were in, in the capital raising industry and in Wall Street, would you be ceding a lot of money to this industry that, that 10 years from now they certain segments want to put out of business? Would you do that? I wouldn't make any long term plans with refineries either. Joe, look, we're, the facts speak for themselves. There's been a steady increase of oil production uh, in the United States during the last year and a half, the last several months. Uh, we're going to see even more increase in production uh, in the coming months. Uh, we're trying to do two things at the same time. One is address the energy transition as it is, meaning that it's a transition and that we need to have the supplies right now, oil and gas, in order to make sure that the economy is functioning. But we also want to make sure that our investments are done in such a way that we can accelerate the transition to a, a cleaner world ahead. 